Hello, friends. I like preparing a video after a long time. Well, there are two, two very important things to note. First is related to investment planning, wherein there is a change in segregation among these three subjects. So what you can see right now had been the older one. So probably if you started studying this subject before August, then this was the segregation probably you would have came across. So in the earlier segregation, what you can find out is 25% is the weightage of personal finance. 60% was used to be core investment planning. It's all technicalities. And 15% was used to be the regulation. And side by side, you can also see the segregation of global and Indian content. But since last month, the segregation has changed. So I'll show you the latest one. Now look at this one. This is the current segregation that we can find out. What you can notice is there is straight 20 percentage weightage increase of weightage in personal financial management and investment planning as the subject has got some cut. It is just 40 percentage now. So I'm yet to like identify what all topics they would be testing more. So definitely there you should expect one video on that. How you should change your strategy because so far what we are used to your most to you mostly used to focus on equity bonds, portfolio and all those uh, investment related topics. But now we have to focus more on, say, for example, loans, net worth, ratios, financial planning process. All those things would be tested more. And accordingly, you can also see there is a change in global Indian segregation. So this is what you should take care of as of now till the time I have a fresh video on what you should be focusing more with this changed location but this is the first thing you should note and there is an interesting development which is happening from this month so those who are writing exam in the month of september and onwards are very well aware about because you would have got the email from fpsb suggesting that now we are going paperless that means in the examination you are not allowed to write anything you are not allowed to carry any paper if you are going to offline centers so now those who are studying in much more orthodox way, like preparing all the timelines and all, so that is not going to be possible. You would be using either Scratchpad or the open office if you are going to NSC center. So now probably like we need to improve ourselves. See, whatever happens is for good. So we don't challenge anything, but this is what we have to improvise while we prepare for examination. So make sure. Calculators are as of now allowed. Yeah, that was also one of the questions that I had. So calculators are as of now allowed. So whatever is the call of FPSB with times to come, that we'll get to know like as and when they announce. But as of now, calculators are there. So do let me know according to you what shall be the tested topics in personal financial planning right? and personal financial management, in fact. And whatever more you want from me, also let me know. See you till the time I make next video.